Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to a new video. This is my first love, hates and empties for 2024. So because I didn't get round to filming my December empties, I have quite a few products to show you that I have got through in the past month or so. And honestly, I am impressed. So first off, I've actually finished my Elemis Aching Muscle Soak. This has been so nice while I've had like the cold flu combo that I've had since before Christmas. It's just incredible. The smell of this is just like cloves. It does so much for your sinuses, honestly. Really, really good. And makes your muscles, like when you're like achy from cold and flu, this is incredible. So I will rebuy this. I haven't bought it yet, but I will get another one. Uh, just because when I don't feel well, this is a really nice kind of like mentally kind of like warmy toasty bath situation that I just need in my life. I do have a few other Elemis products that I finished last month. I did finish a rose cleanser. I used this up pretty quickly I must admit because I think it was a little bit old and it was starting to look a little bit old so that definitely had to go. I finished off one of my Pro Collagen Marine Moisture Essences and I have to say I've not like gone back to it straight away because I do have quite a few other products I'm using at the moment but my skin definitely feels drier for not using it like this definitely makes a difference to my skin and I do have another one I will open it soon it's just it is very pricey and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to afford to buy another one so I'm just you know playing it cool but this is definitely a great product. Elemis Cleanser. Yes, the Pro Collagen Elemis Marine Cleanser. Morning cleanser, nighttime cleanser, double cleanse. This is incredible. I hate the packaging of this because it just gets really like grimy, like round this edge. So unless you leave the lid on it, leave the lid on it. There's a tip for you. Um, but yeah great cleanser, reopened another one already, wouldn't be without this, great morning cleanser. Got a couple of, I've got a couple of bubble baths I've finished, emptied one of my lavender L'Occitane bubble baths, you only need like three capfuls and it's a tiny little cap for a full bath of bubbles of this and it smells amazing. Out of all the lavender bath products I've ever smelt, this is just oh beautiful really really love this beautiful bubbles beautiful smell absolutely gorgeous very pricey but they do now do a refill version so you once you've bought like one of these you can refill it time and time again i wish people would buy me the refill they keep buying me new ones of these but i don't need it but I've, I've got another two backups. And then I've got a little P. Louise Wash Away 2022 Bubble Bath. I actually really liked this. It was very, very sparkly. It gave lots of bubbles, and I mean lots of bubbles, like a huge amount of bubbles. It was very bubbly, um, and it smelled nice, but didn't really have any skincare benefits to it. But it was really nice, great bubble bath. Wish it came in a bigger size. Got two little lush products that I used up over Christmas, the sparkly pumpkin bubble bath from Halloween, that was really nice. And then a little mini Yognog shower gel, <laughs> love Yognog. Um, but yeah, it's always worth keeping these because when you go back to lush, you get like 50p a pot. So that's like a pound off your next bath bomb. So I've just finished a jar of bath pearls from Bubble Tea. So these were like lavender oil bath pearls so beautiful and I love the jar I feel like I could make a really pretty candle in there um or something you know or use it for like little knickknacks or what have you but um yeah night tea bath pearls they're really nice really lovely love bath pearls there's something quite nostalgic and fun about them isn't there so just emptied another glaze hair mask now I have to say of all the things that I've ever put on my hair, this has to be one of the products that I most enjoy. Every morning when I wash my hair, I always put this on. I leave it on for a couple of minutes when I'm in the shower. 
when I take my hair out. My hair is so silky soft and smooth. In fact, it's made it really hard to curl my hair since I started using this, but it leaves it really shiny, glossy, healthy looking, absolutely amazing. And they've just brought out two new colors. So if you wanna try this, you can go to Superdrug and pick it up. I think it's £12.50 if you buy two, so I think you get like two for 22 quid or something. But yeah, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, and if you just want glazy, glossy hair, then yeah, this is definitely a must have. I've just finished a little mini shower foam from Rituals. I've got so many of these, I really need to use them up because I don't like the little ones. For some reason, they don't seem to foam as well as the big ones, so I just wanna like use them up, get rid, um, because ultimately they don't work as well as the big ones and I've got some big ones. Um, I've just finished this scrub as well. So this was a sugar scrub from the brand Gua Sha? Gua Sha? Um, they very kindly gifted it to me with some like oil, some skin. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's like lemony and uh, neroli and just really beautiful, like really lovely bath products they do. I'm going to put a link to them in the drop box below but really nice and natural very earthy um all made in scotland so yeah really nice interesting brand but yeah lovely little scrub and then two final products that i've just finished uh was the hyaluronic acid booster from neil's yard i've already got another one of these that i've opened i just love this this is incredible for 20 pounds you can't get a better hyaluronic acid like it is so good. It leaves your skin really shiny and glossy. Your skin feels hydrated. I use it over the top of my essence. So I do this and then this, and it is just amazing. Such an amazing combo. I have got another one of those I've already reopened. And then I've just finished, sadly, and I cannot get out of this any more product. Like I have literally rinsed this to the end of its life. Um, the Beautiful Skin foundation concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. I have already rebought another one of these. It is a good concealer. It makes my under eyes look quite glowy and dewy and nice. Uh, I get the shade number one fair and yeah it works. I like it. Lots of other concealers I find go quite cakey. This one does a little bit in like the creases above my eye, but not under, so I can't complain. So three products I've been loving this month include from Lush, the Berry Berry Christmas Shower Gel. I got this in the Lush sale and I realise you can't get it anymore. I understand that. I am sorry, but it is really nice. I wish I'd picked it up sooner. It smells incredible and has made my showers so fun. So the next product only launched two days ago, but I've been very lucky. I was given this to try a little while ago uh, from the brand and I've been trying it out. I absolutely obsessed with it. It is so nice. Um, this is the Vitamin C Daily UVB Protector SPF 50. I've added this into my makeup skincare foundation look every day for about two weeks now it is so good really really fab um i definitely would recommend it it comes in at about 9.99 super affordable your skin just drinks it up it's really tacky it doesn't leave a like white cast it doesn't like cling to your makeup it is a great spf but it's brightening as well and it's got some really great quality skincare products in it that like smooth and detexturize the skin. My skin's never looked so good when I've been poorly since I started using this. So um, yeah, I really, really rate this. I think it's great. I think this is gonna be a really good product if you are looking to up your skincare game, looking to add some SPF into your skincare for 2024. And then the third final product that I've loved this month has to be the Ilia Rollerball that was in our, um, oh God, Toll Beauty box. This is incredible. So I've been using this every day and I am obsessed. It's like having a little perfume that's really relaxing that just every now and again you get a little 
smell of it it's so pretty it's so gorgeous really really nice it's got turbulus clary sage petty grain in it it's really relaxing i'm I, i'm in love with this it's gone straight in my handbag sitting by my bedside table at the moment just because i'm putting it on like at night time oh it's so lovely uh so refreshing as well not to be lavender you know nice to have like something a little bit different but yeah that is an absolute winner and then i have to just mention a product that i've fallen out of love with and i have a feeling it is this that has caused me the problem so i have just become allergic to either lash glue or sticky lash liner I'm not quite sure which one but i recently introduced this as a product into my sort of like eyelash routine uh, this is the eyelash emporium pro eyeliner i think it was in latest in beauty and i got a couple of them I've kind of dipped in and out of them but this is the first time I've been using it continuously and I've had an allergic reaction on this eye. I did it once and just thought it was a fluke, did it again and honestly it took the whole skin of my eyelid, like literally it was like all peely and flaky, it was horrible. Um, so I kind of did a bit of research and someone recommended the Tatty Lashes So Sensitive uh, Lash Glue as an alternative so i'm just putting normal eyeliner on and then putting on this lash glue it i don't think it sticks as well it's not quite as easy to apply but that being said it means i can still wear lashes so i'm very grateful because this does work and it doesn't seem to irritate my eye anywhere near what this did so that is going in the bin and that is staying with me so that was my love hates and empties for the month of january the first one of the year and wow i've used a lot of products not to mention i really am loving some new products already this year so guys let me know if there's anything that you think i should get turned on to whether there's new products that you've tried that you've hated leave me some comments but for now enjoy take care and i'll see you all very soon mm -hmm.